guys, welcome to Dr. Seema Seyo. I'm a graduate from Orenburg State Medical University. Sorry, uh, I haven't been able to upload any videos uh, for the past three, four months. Uh, I'm very busy actually. I'm engagement, exams, admissions. I'm very busy. And I uh, hope you all are doing well. I'm going to message you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your wishes. Actually, uh, uh, the thing is, guys, to others who don't know, I have cleared my plaque too. And I'm on my way to become a registered medical practitioner in the United Kingdom, you know. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for your support. And I thought, let me make a video today. Finally, I got some free time and I'm in UK. I just thought, like, let me make a video for all of you guys. Uh, video so actually uh, today's videos i just thought let me just give a brief introduction about what i did you know to take up the plab examinations you know the first step is you have to find out like where you are in your english language uh, and you should decide between you know oet and ielts oet is occupational english test and care workers like doctors nurses physiotherapists occupational therapists and all those people uh, these people, uh, we have a special test called as OEP and <clears throat> it is conducted by a board from Australia but it is recognized in United Kingdom as well. So you can choose the OEP for your English uh, and IELTS. IELTS, when I, when I talk about IELTS, you know, IELTS is like uh, in IELTS also there are I think two things one is for the study and other is for work you can choose the study thing and uh, you can give the test usually people said me actually people feared me uh, to be honestly uh, like uh, it is very difficult to get the required scores and the IELTS for the to be eligible to you know uh, uh, block a seat for my lab one examinations so I just couldn't take the risk because you know uh, it is costly or OET is costly and IELTS is all as well costly. I can't uh, I can't actually uh, I can't fail uh, because I have some financial uh, issues and also some commitments. I can't waste my time or I can't uh, fail. So I just chose the OET uh, uh, thing. I'll just put on the screen the required OELTS and uh, OET and IELTS score for uh, you know PLAB1 in order to be eligible to block uh, you know book a seat for plan one uh, the first step you have to do is you have to choose your english examination or english test whichever you want to take uh, based on your proficiency and you have to sit for one uh, for ielts i think you'll get a slot in a week or two but for oet you have to book it like one month in advance so just be careful with that um, so try to choose whichever is best for you or however fluent you are in your english that will be my you know suggestion to you people i'm in no way to suggest like oet is the best or ielts is the best but i can just tell you why i chose oet over ielts um, if you can just compare yourself with mine and you can just decide either of them so um so number oet and ielts difference park no update sultan chona on the uh oet already if someone is working in an especially private institutions in India they are more used to you know talking with patients you know private most of the people they'll be well versed in English or 50% of the people are well versed they'll come for their uh, IT insurance cases so advantage uh, there are four four things in IELTS and OET it is reading writing speaking and uh, listening reading and listening it comes only through practice and uh, whereas uh, speaking and uh, writing it it uh, uh, you know, uh, OET, the one I think I was working in a private institution. I used to make many discharge summaries, transfer out summaries, death summaries. Uh, that helped me with my writing and speaking. We used to have 
you know multidisciplinary team meetings uh, and uh, you know conversing basically with uh, you know um, some of the english speaking patient attenders it was like a more of that case of scenario so already used in the either rendo na perisa i didn't practice i didn't practice these too much but i practiced reading and writing every day i used to do one one sessions with timer but all these four sessions i used to do with timer so basically what i say is if you're working in an institution uh, like especially in a private college or a private institution where you see more you you are used to doing more of summaries and stuff it will be better if you will choose oet but oet qua double the rate of ielts ielts i'll tell to people who are like fresh graduates who are still in uh, you know um medical school or who just graduated or who are just uh, doing their internship for such people ielts would be better but all consists all will check your english knowledge and ielts you will have the general topic whereas in oet you will be having every uh, reading writing uh, speaking and listening all four sessions re- related to medical cases like you will uh, hear the conversation between a patient and uh, doctor or you'll be uh, listening to a conversation between two nurses during their handover or you'll be listening to a conversation between a patient and the next of kin like um, a mother or uh, you know father someone relative of the patient it will be like this and uh, for me i did ielts in my first go and i think uh, my uh, uh, my working in the private institution uh, was the key thing for me to you know crack it down because uh, i don't think otherwise uh, i could have did it because speaking and writing is always uh, you know complicated not complicated it takes like extra something to tackle it either it's going to be an ielts or oet if you have good speaking skills try to uh, you know good vocabulary or english and you're very nice then i'll tell you like go for ielts because in oet you need to have good english along with little medical knowledge as well so that you'll be able to pen everything rightly that's it so this is my point you know regarding oet and ielts uh, as i have did oet i can guide regarding oet i haven't done ielts so i'm not the right person to comment on it but i have seen people get coming out with very good scores many of my friends went for ielts because it is you know less cheaper and they scored really well whichever is required for the you know plan one so you can do anything in either one up and law but oet related materials are the way you know just whatsapp me i'll i'll just share you the drive link you guys can get access to it and i'll also put a dedicated video on what all i did to you know clear my oet in the first go uh if you guys have any other doubt regarding oet or ielts just please feel free to text me in my whatsapp number thank you so much for watching my video uh i'll come with the next video of the series plab series bye guys